Ekabo, welcome to your first recap video and to those of you here from YouTube, welcome to Kitty's Connect where we connect you with Ifa, authentic African spirituality to help you unlock your spiritual essence. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications because we'll be sharing a whole lot of information. Today's recap is taken from the fundamentals of Ifa course and if you're not already enrolled in that, there will be a link down below so you can sign up. Without further ado, my name is Odum Bakusho Mori and you are watching Kato's Connect. Let's recap. Last class was all about what is Ifa. Ifa to many of us is a belief practice and system. It is also a system and method of divination used to inquire, know, seek and get guidance on the ordinary, the sacred, and spiritual life while it provides solution and a means to manage the effect of the activities of our life and environment but do you know ifa is much more than this the answer to why ifa is much more than this is embodied in the fundamental of ifa course this course is aimed at uncovering and analyzing ifa as the information base that explains our reality also to show how Ifa is a store that houses the meaning and reveals the components, origins, and essence of spirituality, tradition, and cultures of many people, known and unknown. The course has 35 topics which help you to understand your existence and spirituality because in order to do this, the knowledge of Ifa is key. Now, let's break down what Ifa really is. Ifa explains the yesterday, today and tomorrow of everything in the multiverse. Let's shed some more light on this. Let's go into the thought box. Imagine someone gives you a pencil. Then they give you information about the pencil. They tell you a pencil is a type of writing equipment that is also used to draw, usually on paper. So a pencil is usually made with a piece of graphite mixed with clay that has a wood case around it. Then someone gives you another pencil and they provide you with this initial information and additional information. They tell you five important lessons that can be learned from a simple pencil. One, everything you do will leave a mark. Two, you can always correct your mistakes. Three, what's important is inside you, not outside. Four, you will undergo painful sharpening that will make you better. Five, to be the best that you can be, you should allow yourself to be guided by the hand that holds you. This is exactly what Ifa is. Ifa provides you with the physical components of everything in the cosmos and then provides you with important lessons, transformational lessons that you can take from it to make your life better, if not best. Now to get into some examples of different existence that Ifa explains. If you were there, you know we went through many different examples. But for the purpose of today and this recap, I'll be going over three. Or maybe some bonus ones. Ifa explains the reality of water lily. Did you know that a water lily had to do some measures with a thread-like material in order to become that beautiful flower that floats on top of water and is not affected by strong winds? And truly, if you lift up a lily, you would see that thread-like material that is under the lily. Another question we answered is if Ifa can give information that surpasses scientific knowledge. Yes, because in another narrative in Ifa, Ifa explains what we call Oko, which you may know as vehicle. Ifa gives us the physical component of the vehicles. Long before these high power, high energy modes of transportation like rockets and cars were created, the knowledge of Ifa that predates time give us the blueprint for its creation. And even further, Ifa teaches us about something that we call Afumani Yeye, which means a wingless plane, which scientists are now doing research to delve into. This just shows you that Ifa's knowledge can even surpass science. We went through a lot more different, different types of entomologies and origins. We went through the origin of sleep, went through the origin of hunger, which is a good one to explain. Did you know that when hunger was coming into this material realm, hunger had to do some measures with a knife. 
and that knife is what hunger uses to mark every single person so when you feel hungry that knife is what hunger is cutting you with which is why when some people don't eat for a prolonged period of time they get ulcerated stomachs this information is what ifa teaches us and this is just a very tiny part of what ifa can show and reveal unto us we also have information about using animals as spy also have information about things that animals do that even national geographic is yet to delve into did you know that a lion urinates around his territory to market not only dogs but once a lion urinates around an animal that it kills any other animal that comes around that urine will pass out this is the lion's secret mechanism to protect the lion's food also stuff like the mammoth ifa speaks about the mammoth to show you how the knowledge of ifa predates time predates existence and is not only limited to the barriers of where you might know as africa in the place where i am from nigeria the woolly mammoth could not have lived there but ifa speaks about ajanoku ajanoku is the woolly mammoth where ifa says ajanoku funulapa funulese funulojugu meaning ajanoku grows here in apa the arm grows here in esse the feet and grows here in ujugu the knee this describes the physical makeup of ajanoku which would have been living in a very cold climate cold area this just shows you that the information of ifa transcends barriers and is not only limited to any specific location we also speak about cloning if i gives us information about cloning now just imagine that these things are recent scientific discoveries but our ancestors have information about it long 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 ago this and many more as i say again is what ifa teaches us you want to learn more lastly we looked at how the information of ifa is conveyed disseminated and thought the information of Ifa is not relegated to any part of Africa or West Africa. It has been tapped into by virtually every indigenous culture in the multiverse and worldwide. The information of Ifa is passed down orally from generation to generation and has been like this for eons. People have been learning about Ifa in this way. It is conveyed in narrative form, the narrative premise of the law of antecedents. The law of antecedents states that whatever took place in the past can equally be applicable in a present day situation. Lastly, Ifa information is coded into what we call Odu. Odu can be likened to different chapters of information. There are 256 different Odu. And in this 256 different Odu, there are thousands, millions of narratives. No one person can claim to know all the narratives in one Odu. You can look at this as a computer system. It is firstly an 8-bit system. The information is coded into a sign like this I'm going to have up here. The information is coded like this. When you look at it, it is one stroke or two stroke, which can be used to represent the binary symbol of one or zero. Are you seeing how our ancestors were basically modern day scientists or ancient scientists whatever you want to term them as they were very intelligent the information of ifa is coded like this and then in this 8-bit representation that you're seeing there are millions thousands of information inside of that and this is what a babalao this is what an ifa scholar learns to be able to use to transform life and to be able to understand the what the ordinary the sacred and the spiritual life thank you very much for tuning into Kato's connect don't forget to like subscribe to let us know whoa we are enjoying the information of the farm we can't wait to do more like comment subscribe share check us out on instagram and facebook it was lovely having you all with us today i hope you pay attention in your next class and look up for the next recap don't forget that you're all amazing five we will i share